Oh, I'm Valentini. I was born in Brazil, raised in Brazil, and have been working and traveling around the world, offering spaces for people to meet each other, to talk to each other, to meet with the heart. And that has come through trainings, that has come through conversations, so-called the art of hosting meaningful conversations as well as just being where I feel called to be and to serve with what I have to serve. What do you see the greatest challenges to be facing humanity over the next decade? Perfect. For me it has to do with connection. It has to do with our inner ability, nurturing our inner ability to connect with one another in a deeper level, in the level of the heart in the level where it doesn't really matter where we come from and which beliefs we have, but we are all human beings. And once we meet in that place, then we have space to share who we are and where we come from and what do we believe. And that for me is one of the biggest challenges that we're now meeting right now here in Occupy Stockholm and how people have been okay. able to listen to one another and to connect and from that place grow into action, grow into wisdom and share yeah, and sharing and re-evolutioning what needs to happen now okay. So what do you say is the skills and capacities needed to meet these challenges? Definitely it's needed guts it's needed courage to stay on your ground even when everything else seems to be telling you the opposite. It needs... It needs friendship. It needs love from one another. It needs belief. It needs trust. And that is a, all capacities and skills that we know we have within. And it's about finding them and nurturing them and nurturing spaces in which we can reinforce them. What do you see the role of youth to be? I consider myself youth, still I'm 29 years old and I believe it has to do with believing what we have to offer is important and it's worth something and that we do have wisdom as well as being humble to acquire the wisdom of our ancestors and the generations before us and taking what's good from that and creating something new, generating new as we are seeing happening right over here. What gives you hope for the future? This. You. Me. That gives me hope. This in crowd that's becoming a larger and larger out crowd. This in crowd that it's becoming the mainstream. Even if we don't want to see it or if we believe that others are not seeing us, we are coming to surface and that gives me hope. If you were to be dropped on a deserted island with only one thing that you could bring, what would you bring? Love. Because love for me is everything that can change. It's, it is the source from where change happens. Love is power, love is God, love is anger, love is despair, and vice versa.